These are some quick pulse settings that I've found to work really well for autogenous welding without filler metal on thin stainless steel. I'm using the Prime Weld TIG 325X, got the pulse rate on low, and then setting the pulses per second on 1. Then the trick is to set the background current very low at only 5%. That's pretty low for a background current. Oftentimes background current is set at 30 to 50%. But setting it at 5 really drops that amperage down a lot and really controls distortion a lot. Pulse width, also called pulse duty, at least on this machine, set at 30%. Sometimes it's called peak pulse. You need more amperage when you use pulse settings, so I set the amperage all the way up to 106 and just use a foot pedal. Pulse settings really help limit heat input and therefore limit discoloration, but something that really helps with discoloration is using a larger cup with a gas lens. So I'm going to be using a Furic Ceramic 12 today that comes with this Navigator Ceramic Version kit with a 17 style torch. If you're still using the standard cups and collet bodies that came with your torch or machine, you're probably not getting the best results possible. Switching over to stubby style hardware and a different cup is very easy. I just need to remove the heat shield insulator, pop the right one on, and thread in the Furic gas lens and wedge collet that comes with the kit. The thing that really helps with gas coverage is the extra diffusers in these cups along with the gas lens diffusers. I'm also going to be using a purge on the back side of this outside corner joint using the Weldmonger dual flow meter. Pulse settings can also be used to limit penetration and if you're not purging the back side at all, limiting penetration might be something you want to do to eliminate the sugaring that can happen on the back side when you fully penetrate. But in this case I do have argon on the back side and we'll take a look at what that does when we're finished with this weld. I've got a tack weld every three inches or so. You need a really good tight fit up if you're doing an outside corner joint without filler metal. In fact, even when you're doing it without filler metal, it's good to have a filler metal in your hand just in case a hole opens up.